Hi. If you've ever built an electromagnet or experimented with magnets, then you might have wanted to know how strong they are. And one way of determining that is to know the magnetic flux density. Once you have that information, then you can use that to estimate roughly uh, how many kilograms of force your electromagnet has, although a lot will still depend on the area of the electromagnet that is in close contact with the thing that you're trying to pick up with the electromagnet. Anyway, this short video describes a low-cost open source project uh, to provide the magnetic flux density measurement. And also, because this is a custom project, you could, if you wanted to add features not found on even multi-hundred dollar uh, measurement tools. It consists of a sensor circuit connected to a microcontroller board, and there's really not much else to it. It doesn't cost more than a few tens of dollars to construct this. To test it, I made an electromagnet and applied a DC voltage to it. When it was placed over the sensor, the system detects that there is an unchanging magnetic field and it displays a value in millitesla. It's quite stable in operation. To check that the values made sense, I used a commercial gauss meter and applied its sensor to the electromagnet. The values in green are from the homemade project and the black readings are from the commercial meter. You can also see the voltage and current values there. Uh, the difference is not much, and a lot of that could be down to precise positioning differences between the two sensors. Since this is a custom project, it can do stuff that the commercial device cannot. Here I used a reel of wire as an AC electromagnet by connecting it to an AC transformer, a 6-volt transformer. Uh, the display detects that the field is changing, and it shows a frequency. It should be good to a few kilohertz, but I've only tested so far at 50 hertz mains. Also, the display automatically shows the min-max values in millitesla as well. The circuit diagram is shown here, but for more details and comments on the software as well and how to build it, please see the blog. Thanks for watching.